love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Thus saith the Lord's dove of love, the rising sun of righteousness, the Lord Jesus is now bringing forth conclusive proof beyond all doubt, pointing to the chilling truth that all religions in the past have been way off in their teachings. For the gross darkness that Isaiah prophesied in Isaiah 60 has covered all people and made all people spiritually blind. It's become a world where everyone wants unconditional love divine, and yet no one wants to give it. It is the purest of all insanity. So now, therefore, shall, shall the age of the tribulation now bring forth the sun's greatest shine, understanding by understanding, line by line, precept by precept, so it will thrive as a, a, a fire of passion amongst his fervent people of, of compassionate, empathetic, and sympathetic love. And only those sharing his messages here at this channel really are a loving people of his house of beloved all other people that are loveless in this world, they're on the path of perishing, uh, committing slowly uh, the unforgivable sin, letting their love go out. Th think of a frog in a pot of hot water. After a while, it doesn't even realize he's being cooked, and then it's too late. So realize that born-again souls need to will become thrilled to welcome humanity, uniting in love for his kingdom, age that will arise in spite of ourselves, and realize that it's now crystal clear that people from all religions have not been listening correctly, uh, interpreting what the spirit of prophecy has been saying, who is Jesus Christ Almighty for that cause. Uh, I, the Lord is bringing forth a guide as a compass so that he can evermore shine his most radiant light of love upon all of his everlasting gospel truths. I am the writer, Daniel, of the flying scroll of Zechariah 5, the uh, writer of the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14. So understand well that self-deceived people all over the circle of earth from all religions or none are carrying visions of a scary future in their hearts without realizing that such will not even exist after the Lord turns their horror into happiness, their terror into thanksgiving, and their awfulness into great reasons to be glad for those hearing love's roaring cry. For it is written, and this shall be considered in the last latter days. Uh, Jeremiah 30, 24, the Lord is saying, I will return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if my people will give me the desire of my heart that I prayed for in Gethsemane for the oneness of love. So let all those willing to be childlike now lower their defenses as they become ready to open their hearts and their minds unto unconditional love. Then millions of people all over the shrinking circle of earth will swiftly come to see that people of all religions have been side blinded over the refusal to look at all prophecy instead of just that which their closed-minded religions endorse. Not only have all religions of man always been wrong about the uh, crucial lack of prophecy in sight, but the Lord himself shall now open up the confident claims of, of me as his messenger of love that nobody could ever shout down. That's for sure. Not even that lady. And then said the Spirit of Unity, the Holy Spirit, he says, Hearken now, all ye desert dwellers, city dwellers, people hiding under the rocks, for the golden path of Christ's preparation of peace shall, shall soon be duplicating itself by bringing even much more peace, love, hope, and joy unto those wanting and desiring such blessings. Because love whom Christ is, First John 4, 7, that is his name, and to every knee shall bow unto him and every tongue shall confess love whom is Christ. But in the spirit of humility, Daniel of Windsor, myself, I have to stress that it's time that we all stand together as one so that we can transform this earth by the Lord's command. But our Lord of prophecy is now shining the boldest light of truth upon uh, this word that you are hearing, it was written plainly on the tablet so all hearing the reading of these writings might run because these are the days of the uh, fullness of Gentiles have come. So let the wise embrace the, the prophetic voice of our beloved for he is now revealing his fire that's ready to burn down even the coldest of hearts as we dare flooding our minds with the divine actuality that's coming from God's restoration 
of Acts 3.21, so he's not kept in reserve as it is written. And so shall it be that the eagle of the eons will always be whispering to all those hearing truth that the Lord made everything beautiful in its time. And that Lion of Zion has always been the carpenter of the ages who is now saying unto all those with pain that joy has now come through his unified word of prophecy. And by the great breath of the great I am, that lofty wind of his most blessed adoration for all those of love has now come forth uh, as of the hawk of his new kingdom age which is just ahead and with a screech of excitement utterly in his voice resonating uh, so has it been that uh, the Lord is saying, cast down all your spirits of fear, for the divine power of love is far greater than any sin, any commandment, and all teachings, true or false, it, love is greater than all of it. So let the wise become bold, regardless of their religion, as they begin fighting against all powers of darkness. For the advocate of man promises that anyone fighting for love won't be able to ever go to hell, become blessings or curses. Nothing can separate us. For the prince of darkness, Darkness will put restraining orders upon every soldier of peace that's marching forward with the word of hope from our love uh, for his unification by his number of um, the Lamb number 777 and the obedient will be set apart by their most high lord of the brightest light of love for the glorification that will befall them as a shower of blessings behold he who is our star of stars the true star of bethlehem oh he alone is the majesty of majesties our hero of heroes icon of icons and by his word we can increase the love within us and it'll be a burning a hundredfold days of the refiner's fire instead of silver will have gold instead of gold will have platinum and uh, so praise God that the day of judgment shall be one of our rewards and that our sin has always been covered up by his blinding light of love rendering all of our sin invisible that's why he says I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it which removes Satan for a number for a thousand years so let all of us rejoice for from time and memorial hundreds of prophecies uh, from the spiritual people of all races and religions have all foretold the coming of the holy man Christ uh, uh, and of another uh, uh, who would come forth um, to prepare his way and I am that man that's why I have 5,000 videos tell me it's one other person that has 5,000 videos I mean you know, the people that have been making videos for 10 years like um, uh, uh, David Wood of Acts uh, uh, 17 um, he's got uh, 1,200, uh, the false Elijah uh, calling down fire. He's got uh, 1,500 people. I am who I claim to be.